Okay, I'm excited about this. If you are a pyrotechnician and interested in or looking at getting started with a firing system or possibly adding features to your existing system, you should be excited about this too. A number of years ago, I purchased a FireTech system and then started creating videos on YouTube on the Ignite channel showing what I've done with the system and how to set things up. And it's a fairly long list of simple videos so far. So what's cool about this is I'm going to quickly walk through a bunch of diagrams showing many of the configurations available with just one FireTech 48Q FTH 48FX module. And then I'll show you where you can download a copy of this document. Before we kick off on the different diagrams, here's what the standard features are on a FTH 48FX module. It comes with four 12Q rails. These rails have integrated LEDs that allow you to test continuity and also do trial runs of your script. Each rail has two RJ45 connectors, so they have an integrated parallel splitter to the rail so you can daisy chain them together. It comes with an internal antenna for the intelligent mesh network. It can run in independent, master, and slave modes. It has a USB connector to interface with a computer or Android device. It has internal memory for scripts. It has an internal rechargeable battery. It also allows an external battery. That external battery input can also be used as an external trigger input. And it comes with included software, including the FT Control and Fire S Android applications. As options, you can add an external antenna, Bluetooth functionality, GPS functionality, time cone functionality, two wire functionality, and DMX functionality. Manually firing with a computer. With the FireTech module set to master mode, you can connect it to a computer with a USB cable, and with the included software, you can manually fire all 48 cues by use of the computer. With a FireTech module with the Bluetooth option, and with the included FireTech Fire S Android application, under limited range, you can connect and fire all 48 cues of the module via Bluetooth. If you want to do a scripted pyro musical with a computer, a single module gives you 48 cues that you can script to music with the included software. The module can be connected to the computer via the USB cable and the computer application can play your synchronized music to your sound system. I've talked to a number of people that started out this way with their first small pyro musical. You can also control a scripted pyro musical with the Android FT control application. With an on-the-go adapter for an Android device, you can connect your module with a USB cable. You can then control your script via the FT control application, and the FT control application will play the synchronized audio out of the Android device that can be fed to your sound system. With a single FireTech module set to master mode and connected to the FT control application, you can load multiple individual scripts or sequences that can be fired individually through the FT control application. The FireTech modules also allow you to manually control preloaded scripts with just the module. You can preload a pyrotechnic script with the FT control Android application or included computer software and then you can control the script. You can arm, start, stop, pause the script with the forwards and back buttons directly on the FireTech module. You can also step fire a preloaded script directly with the FireTech module. With a script preloaded onto the module, you can control the stepping with the forward and back buttons directly on the FireTech module. The FireTech module can be used as a pyro sequencer to be added to an external system. With a single FireTech module set to independent mode, a pyrotechnic script can be preloaded onto the module, and all 48 cues of the FireTech module as a sequencer can be controlled with the pulsing of an external system. This allows start, pause, and continuing of the script loaded onto the FireTech module. The FireTech module also has an option for DMX, so with the DMX option, a FireTech module can be used not only as a pyrotechnic sequencer, but also a DMX sequencer, which would allow you to add DMX devices to an existing system. Again, pulsing the external trigger from the external system allows you to start, pause, and continue the script loaded in the FireTech module. 
you can add controlled audio to an external system. With the FireTech module set to master mode and connected to the FT control application, you can pulse the external trigger and play audio through the FT control application that will be synchronized with the script loaded in the FireTech module. Again, the pulsing of the external trigger allows you to start, pause, and continue both the script and the audio. With the timecode option, you can control a pre-programmed script with timecode. A FireTech module can be preloaded with a pyrotechnic and or DMX script and can be controlled through the timecode interface. A timecode generator can be used or a simple audio player with timecode and music audio separated on the right and left channels can be used to control both the script in the FireTech module and play the music. With the GPS option, you can have synchronized GPS firing across multiple modules in various locations. A script can be preloaded into the module, and by use of the included FireTech Show Designer software, a GPS start time can be set to the module. When connecting to a computer or an Android device, you can extend the distance to your module by using an RJ45 extender and a CAT5 or CAT6 cable allowing you up to 100 feet of extension. The FTH48FX module comes with 48 cues and four 12 q rails. However, the rails allow flexible configurations. You can daisy chain a number of rails and use three-way splitters to set out your rails such that you can fire cues across multiple positions simultaneously. I hope you found that interesting. I will put a link to this presentation in the description on YouTube. In the comment sections, please leave any questions or comments, and please check out my other videos on the Ignite channel. I will be walking through two more of these diagrams, one explaining what you can do with multiple modules without a remote, and what additional capabilities you can add with the remote. So keep a lookout for those videos as well.